Alright guys, so just got back from Target. I did purchase some more cars for the donation. So uh, I didn't really care what I grabbed. I just wanted some fantasy castings um, because you're going to have those younger aged groups that are going to be getting Hot Wheels and all that good stuff. So uh, it's definitely an awesome feeling knowing that this is all going to the local kids so they can all enjoy the holidays even if they have a rough time and they're at the hospitals or wherever they're at and they're getting stuff like this hopefully it adds a little hope and uh you know brightens up their day so you don't have to go out and spend money like i am i'm using the funds that i get from the channel i'm also putting a box together for our trunk or treat that we're having on base so i'll be handing out cars instead of candy so if you guys have extras do that i know we all love sending extras and packages when we do trades and all that stuff but if you have a lot of extras that you're just going to give away anyways might as well donate it you don't have to go through a hospital you can go to the fire department police department anyone who accepts toys for donations um, but just make sure that they're going to use them the right way i went to a couple police departments around here and they didn't seem like they were going to do a good enough um, impact for the children with what I was going to give them. So yeah, do your part and here we go. All right, see what they have. It looks like they got a really nice Monte Carlo stalker. Definitely picking this up. Attitude. It's a first edition. That's kind of cool. Ooh, check that out. Street Beast Camaro, 559. Got the BMW. A couple more recent castings, that's always good. I'm all about the old ones. Oh man, check that out. 250. Might, might get this one. What else? Track report. That looks good in that color. A lot of first editions here. Double Vision. Have that one. Loving the race team liveries. All right, let's see. Still have these there. I think I seen this last time. Check that out. Fifty seven Bel Air. Man, that is wicked. Oh, that's nice. I don't know, I might have to hold that, but let me put that in front so no one else sees it. But definitely getting that Monte Carlo. So we found a Rusty Wallace and another Terry Labonte variation. Set that here. These are still sitting there. Super tempted. And check this out. Terry Labonte Frosted Flakes. With cereal still in it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Look at that, three bucks. That's kind of cool, man, not gonna lie. Let's see, when is this? 97. <laughs> That's three bucks. That is kind of cool. What's that? Oh, nice. Little ornament. Hmm. Debate. I'm getting the Rusty Wallace. I don't know if I'm going to get the Terry Labonte. I might leave this. We'll put that there. You got Bill Elliott phone. It's kind of cool. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, look at that. Nice. 
That is kind of sweet. 2002 NASCAR registered. What? That is awesome. I don't even think we can restore this plastic. That's kind of sweet. How much is this? I don't see a price on it. Has this always been there? I've just never noticed it. Doesn't have a price on it, but definitely getting that. Definitely getting that. Hold on, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Terry Labonte again. That Mark Martin mug is still there. Corvette's still here. It's nice. Yeah. Man, I gotta really, really look in this area because, uh, man, that is awesome. Hopefully, we can get it at a good price. But that might be it for this little corner. Guys, we legit got all of this stuff plus the Dale Earnhardt hat for eight bucks. Holy crap. Here we go, guys. Scored that bag, and I cannot wait to go over everything else we picked up over the last week and a half. Because, yeah, we did score a bunch of stuff. There's also some other antique mall finds in that other black bag, which we'll go through. We have two packages that came in. One from my buddy Mike over at Helmet Diecast. And then we got Manny's Custom Garage. I cannot wait to check that out because he sent some heat. So a huge thanks to Mike over at Helmet Diecast and of course Manny's Custom Garage. So all the cars for the Children's Miracle Network in our local area are all ready to go. Like I said, I did purchase about 25, 30 more to go in there. So going to a great cause. I also did find all of my Shelby's and Daytona's to go in the collection. I knew I had them. They were just in that big tote of castings that are now empty. This is all trash from all the stuff I've opened over the past week. And then all the other ones that I'm keeping in the collection are in here. So this is about 600 die cast or so with the full series of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, the Honda S2000 out of the super fast. Just a whole bunch of stuff I forgot I even had. So we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side for right now. And let's go ahead and get through these bags because we did score some good stuff, guys. So the first one, this is a recent find. We did get the Chase Elliott Hooters car. Definitely wanted to pick up this one since I do have a collection of Hooters cars over there. But it is Chase Elliott and he is another awesome driver for the latest of NASCAR. So he does drive this really nice Camaro. Another cool Chase Elliott for the collection. I think I only have like two Chase Elliott cars. Next one I did pick up is the M2 Ground Pounders. It's the 69 Mustang GT with the Ford Performance livery. Now, when I first picked this up, I could have sworn I had it, but it's the exact same livery as the 68. So very, very close. I just knew that this one was a little bit different, more tuned than realistic. So we have the 68 version and now the 69 version of the Ground Pounders Ford Performance Mustang. So I think that's a pretty cool variation to have two different years. The next ones I did pick up for the collection for the bikes is the Honda Super Cub. I wasn't sure if I had this one or not, which I don't think I do. I think the latest one I picked up was the BMW in black. Definitely wanted this one since I do collect bikes. I just think they're kind of cool and unique. So there we go out of the factory fresh. Next one is the Chevy Tahoe. It's a 2007 with the Gotham City PD deco. You got the white MC5s. Definitely do like this casting. It is a satin black with a blue tinted glass. Card art is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this is probably the only Batman series car I'm gonna have in the collection. I'm not too big on collecting Batmobiles, but you guys know I do like to have the police cars for the track, which is still under construction, trying to get all this situated. So bear with me guys, but definitely seen this one before, left it and I was like, you know what? It'd be cool to have a Chevy Tahoe for the collection, especially for a police deco. Next one, I did grab another Porsche 911 GT3. I just really do like this casting. So this is like the third or fourth one in the collection. Beautiful blue, of course. 
the black Y5s just look really good on this casting at a factory fresh. So just wanted another one. So I know you guys are looking at this. I had to pick it up because the selection at Sam's Club is dwindling down. This was the last 70 Mach 1 that they had. And this thing is beautiful. Check out this yellow. Got the 428 Cobra Jet crammed underneath that hood. It's just an awesome Mach 1 right here. Of course, you do have the louvers, the black wing signature for the Mach 1. But yeah, they only had this one left. You guys remember I did pick up the last two Shelbys. So I wasn't going to pass this up because these only come out once a year at Sam's. And that pallet was almost completely empty. So I missed out on the Ferrari, which is fine. They still had the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the GTR Skyline, and a couple Corvettes. But I'm trying to really, really focus on Mustangs for the majority of my purchases. So this is definitely going over here with the other ones until I can make a shelf. That way I can display these all together. So welcome to the collection, Mr. 70 Mach 1. All right, next one, I scored this at Walmart. This is a beautiful 65 2 plus 2 fastback. Check this out, guys. This just looks super cool, guys. You got the Ford in black with John and Ralph on the side. You got the 660 AFX, which A, I think is motor size, and the FX is for factory experimental. So when it comes to racing, that is super cool. Definitely loving this one. And then coming around the front, you do have the 65 on the front plate and some really cool plumbing for that motor. I don't know if it came undone, but I was not gonna pass this up. So it looks like someone tried to hide this behind a couple of the big time muscles, found it and was super excited. So another beautiful 65 2 plus 2 for the collection. I think I only have two other 65 2 plus 2s and they are the chase cars which are right here. You got the crane cams as well as the 427 deco. Beautiful blue metallic. So another Mustang welcomed to the collection. Next one in that one is another recolor of this beautiful 70 Boss 302. Look at that blue metallic. Now when I seen it in the store, it didn't have that flake. I thought it was more of the grabber blue, kind of similar to, to this one. But as you can see, it does have a lot of metal flake in it, but it's an awesome variation to throw into this one. We have the competition orange right here, which also does have metallic flake in it. And then you do have the red one. So it's an awesome third addition to the collection. Loving the boss stripes, of course. All right, next one right here, guys. We picked up another Matchbox variation of the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in this beautiful green metallic. You have the black chrome wheels, which I think look really good on there. It's the big four-door version without the doors. I definitely do dig that look. Um, I do have the blue variation as well as I think the gray somewhere in the collection. So the next one up is the blue Fiat 500 Turbo. Definitely love this color. So I do want to do a custom of this one because my buddy just bought a silver one. So I might do it silver or I might just keep it this color and just really make a cool custom out of it. You got the headlight tampos, the front badge, even onto the rear. It's nicely done. Beautiful blue color. And then we picked up the red MR2 version, guys. This one is my second, but the one I have is left-hand drive. This is the right-hand variation. Both have the pop-up headlights, so I need two more with the flip down, left hand and right hand. Now, I do have the teal, but I've only been able to find one. So we do have this one right here. It's right-hand drive, headlights up, and then I do have all four variations of the white one. So still trying to track all of these down. I do want to have all the variations to that one. Next one I picked up was the C10 to complete the Spider-Man series. This is a beautiful purple. You got the ghost spider right there on the side with the gray five spokes and slightly blue tinted glass with the chrome interior. So finally, finally found this one. This was the fifth one out of all of them. So this can go with the series and go up on the wall. Last one I picked up was the new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning in silver. Now this is a cool casting, definitely do like the details. 
that they threw on this but i do not like the fact that the lightning looks like this this is not the heritage of what the lightning was supposed to be but it may be fast and all that stuff but it's not a lightning in my eyes but it's still a really cool casting and uh yeah definitely wanted this one for the collection all right so this one is out of the retro racers it's another bmw r9 t racer i wasn't sure if i had it or not but i do have it up top but since i do have another one i'll just add it to the list or to the box of cars going to donation next up is a recolor of the low lux now i do have the first variation in red which has the white 10 spokes and white ring in the rear but i'm definitely loving this blue metallic with the lime green it looks really good especially with the green chrome wheels definitely digging that so it's out of the hot wheels hot trucks another cool recolor for this casting so next one is the Big Air Bel Air Recolor. Now this is an awesome looking casting. It's one of my favorite Chevys for the Big Airs. I do have all of the other ones, including the Kroger exclusive without the Tampos. So it's always cool to have a naked variation of it, but this one has the teal interior and some blue chrome off-road wheels with this bubblegum pink paint. So definitely another cool color variation next up we found the 68 mercury cougar and this is an awesome livery on this one you have the black mc5s with the chrome ring number eight and the red and white stripes with the castrol tampos on there this blue is nice now i think this would look really good as a super but that's my opinion but muscle mania is really pushing out some really cool castings this year and this was just another favorite of mine. All right, and last one from Target is Auto World, but check this out, guys. The 2011 Chevy Corvette Z06, but it is the carbon edition. Look at that color, guys. Beautiful reddish orange metallic with the black wheels. Got the number 11 on the side, and that thing is wicked. Definitely digging that one. And then, of course, right below it, you have the 67 Chevy Corvette with the 427 in it with the white stripe and brown interior. So coming to the facts, only 500 units of the 2011 Corvette Z06 Carbon were built by GM. And the L88 engine in the 67 Corvette exceeded 500 horsepower, but were intentionally underrated at 430. That is cool, man. Just underrating your car and making everyone think it had less power than it did. That is awesome. So filled with race fuel and fully prepped for competition, these cars easily reached 560 and 550 torque god man that is awesome so could not pass that up and there was still a couple on pegs when i went back the other day so this is one of 6668 so not too high but not too low of a production number but still awesome all right this bag right here is from the antique mall but we'll save this for later now this bag right here is from sean he hooked it up we did another trade Hooked him up with a bunch of Mustangs he didn't have. So he paid it back and hooked it up with this one. Check that out. 86 SVO in red, followed by the 69 Mercury XR7 in blue. So that is awesome. You guys know I just picked up the other variation to it. So super stoked to have the red variation of this one. And then of course, this is another 6,668 production release. So love in the red that just looks really really good on that one so two beautiful cars in one just like the corvettes right there next one he hooked up is the blue lamborghini estoke out of this new series the sedan series love in the blue you got the tampos for the taillights silver stripe running down offset black j5s with the chrome ring and gray interior so another beautiful lamborghini estoke for the collection i believe i only have like four of these and they're all loose finally have all of the ones i wanted i did not pick up the tesla model 3 because i really don't collect those so here we go for the exotics collection next one he hooked up is the aristorat now i do like this casting it's super cool and especially in this purple metallic you got the t meyer and sons racing tampos right there on the side so this is an awesome awesome tooling for a drag build so two more that he threw in here we got some loose ones 
but here we go we got the porsche 911 with the hot wheels race team livery and here we go finally have this one loose this thing is beautiful you got the chrome lace wheels all the way around full metal cast beautiful blue metallic now i do have this one in the original five pack that came right here it is out of the hot wheels race team three so there we go i thought that was super cool he had this one loose because you guys know i'm starting to open up a lot of my stuff and that one was one i did not want to open because it is a five pack those i won't open just because i definitely do like the display how it's a full series and all that stuff next one he threw in here was a custom that he purchased it's a really nice 934 turbo check this out guys you got the white five spokes beautiful blue but look at that wing that was mounted on there i think that looks super sweet on there now i don't know what casting that this came off of i want to remove that i don't know if it's i don't know if that's sanding or if that's if that's super glue residue but really want to clean that up because this just looks so good with that wing on there so sean thanks so much for doing this trade i thought that was a really cool for you to throw in there now this one right here guys is from the traders market we have first up a new pro stock firebird for the collection this one is a 2000 first edition in yellow with the orange blower for the drag build you do have the chrome five spokes with the staggered drag wheel setup super cool casting full metal on metal and check out that livery guys you got the kaboom with the smoke cloud and a bunch of sponsors within that so definitely a cool one to throw in the collection i do have a couple of my loose ones right here that i picked up as well you got the bnm you got the proc racing and then you have this really cool tribal with the skull but just another pro stock firebird to throw in the collection now right here guys these are all loose castings we picked up a lot of camaros check this out guys you have the dare camaro i believe it's a 96 97 camaro uh camaro z28 but yeah it's definitely maybe a 95 i would say 95 94 95 camaro but this was super cool. I remember someone else posting this casting on their channel. There we go. Added this one for the Camaro collection. Next up is the 300ZX with this really cool black and white splatter. Check this out. Another Matchbox release with the hot pink interior and the T-tops. This is just another cool one. So yeah, this is a 1990s casting license. And there we go. Check it out. You got the headlights attached to the glass and no tampos for the taillights of course this is a super old casting but really cool find next one i picked up was another el camino variation but check this out guys biggest skate shop in town established in 1982 freestyle and you guys know being a skater growing up you got the 70 el camino with the skate livery in blue that is awesome so matchbox definitely did a good job with this one next up we picked up another 93 camaro guys look at this beauty now this has the chrome ultra hots on there white interior and this is another color variation to throw into the camaro box so we'll go ahead and pull it out so here we go guys these are the other two that i have i have the one with the tan interior both five spoke variations but this one is the white interior with the ultra hot so that is going right there that is totally awesome the next one i picked up is another mcdonald's 93 camaro i do have one right here but just a different variation to the paint crack this one you can see a lot more bigger cracks in the paint where this one has a little bit smaller and more faint ones right there picked up two this one's even more cracked in design than these so just picked it up just because they're just different variations to the paint crack look so there we go we got three 93 camaro variations in the collection next one i picked up was another i think this is out of the tattoo series in green you got the chrome three spokes white interior i do have it it's right here just opened it so it is super fresh no chips or anything so this just makes another 93 camaro for the collection next up picked up this really cool jeep guys look at this awesome orange with the mud splatter mud wheels on there but the back wheels are bent as well as the front so i am going to wheel swap it just just to restore those wheels 
because this is just an awesome one to have. So I do like collecting the Jeeps. I think they're really tough looking. Cannot beat 25 cents per car. Next one I picked up was this one right here, guys. Look at the Plymouth, guys. Check that out. Salute to Petty. So this is the 64 Plymouth Belvedere, and this is an awesome, awesome casting. Now, I'm not sure if this was a McDonald's release or if it was another type of release, but you do have the blacked out windows and the very, very basic version of the lace wheels, kind of similar to the ones that come on the McDonald's cars right here. But this was an awesome find for the race collection. Next one is this awesome, awesome Cobra right here, guys. Check it out, the Pace car. I think it's a 97 Cobra, 96 Cobra. Yeah, straight out of Matchbox. You do have the little roll bar right there in the back seat, blue interior. This is awesome. I've never even seen this variation, but we have it now and that is totally awesome. So finding an old Cobra Mustang from Matchbox is kind of hard to do. So I'm glad I found one. Next up, we picked up this awesome Corvette. Now this is another concept. Now, I don't have a Matchbox concept variation. This is the first one to throw in the collection. Definitely an awesome one to score. Corvette Stingray 3. So that is an awesome one right there. Next up, picked up the Lamborghini out of Matchbox in this green metallic. Definitely another awesome one. I am going to clean it up because there's some stuff on there that just, I don't even know what that is. But you do have the off-white or cream interior and there we go lamborghini countach now i do have a few of those in the collection and then two more castings i thought this one was super cool you have the rx7 from fast and the furious guys look at that that is awesome now this is a racing champions casting really good detail of course you do have the wheels that are actually supposed to be on there now it's a small scale i don't know if it's a 156 or 188 i forgot what scale that is but uh, definitely cool. The last one is this Formula Racer. Check that out. Really nice yellow. You got the lace wheels in chrome. The buzzing hornets on the side. Just cool. So I do have a lot of variations of this particular formula. And this is a McDonald's casting. So check that out, guys. McDonald's used to push out some really, really cool castings. I mean, you got the Camaros that came out. You have the Corvettes. You have Honda Civics. You have that really cool S10 that I have sitting back there. But yeah, more 93 Camaros for the collection. And there we go. Set these off to the side. And then last one right here, guys. The Dale Earnhardt hard hat. Check that out. So the guy didn't see a price. He was like, you know what? Just give me five bucks for it. So wasn't going to pass it up. I never like passing up on some Dale Senior stuff, especially stuff that's kind of unique like this. I already cleaned it up, removed all the dust and grime that was on there. You can see the insides nice and clean. But yeah, so cleaned it up as best as I could. This is just going to go in the collection, just kind of on display. But yeah, Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s seven-time champion hard hat. Definitely didn't want to pass it up. When you look on the inside, it does have the 2002 nascar registered trademark so i think that is awesome really cool find i know it's kind of an oddball thing to pick up but it's dale senior and you guys know i do like collecting his stuff over there next one i picked up was another racing champions this is awesome it's the united we stand chase the race car check that out proud to be an american number 40 and it's starling marlin that is awesome guys totally awesome now i'm trying to figure out how this works as far as chase car rain delay real you know authentic and it tells you how rare they are as far as based off of the bar so i got to figure out which one this one is but definitely a cool sterling marlin one this is the first of his in the collection so definitely definitely wanted to pick that up especially with the united we stand had to next up we picked up carrie earnhardt guys Look at that. The eldest son to Dale Earnhardt and half-brother to Dale Jr. Got the number 12 Supercuts, Harry Earnhardt. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. So you see the price tags on here, $475. That one was another $475. But the guy gave me everything for $8. That is, that is an awesome, awesome deal right there. Next up, we picked up the Rusty Wallace car. This is another cool Rusty to have in the collection. It's out of the pit stop diecast racing replicas, but look at that, guys. 
the blacked out number two with the Ford Motorsport and you do have the Fleetwood right there on the trunk but definitely a cool Thunderbird for the collection so I will be opening this one up or I might keep it carded I don't know yet then the last one I picked up was the number one 96 model series Monte Carlo stalker check that out guys beautiful beautiful car right here love the race team of this era I loved how they just did the metallic blue with the yellow and of course the Goodyear wheels you got the black seven spokes but this right here guys was awesome to find so I do have a lot of Hot Wheels race team stuff even the older ones I do have another full set down this wall and a couple stalkers up here but this was one I did not have in the collection and definitely needed this one so I'm going to be opening up all of my race team cars they will be going in a jammer of their own I, I don't know guys I just really really love opening these up and having them having the full series all together it makes collecting a little bit more easier so that is what we picked up at the antique mall now we're going to be off to 